Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Unknown, and I'm here to talk to you about some Marvel 3 tech. It's very old, it's very simple, but it's extremely effective, and it can really save you from a gross position or gross situation that you're in. And this technique is called OS Dash. So you're option selecting a dash, you option select your dash with a throw, and this is where plinking comes from, where you plink dash, you plink dash with H, and go downwards, going going backwards, you'll get a throw and, and dash. And you can do that just once instead of plinking and doing it over and over again and getting the throw or getting the dashes like really fast across the screen like you see a lot of the top players do. You can just do it once and get that dash plus throw the one time you need it. So again, the, the input you're going to be going for this time is just H. You're plinking your H with M. So H first, then M. And plink that as a like right one frame after each other and you'll get a dash. If you're doing it properly, you'll get a dash. And you can see that I'm messing up, and I get H sometimes. If you practice, you'll get it every time. It's very, very easy. I'm just showing you what happens if you fail, what it'll look like. Now, you obviously want to hold the direction as well of which way you want to dash or which way you want to throw your opponent. I know you're thinking, oh, well, how can this really, really help me? I know it'll get the OS throw, but how else can I, what else can I do with this tech? There's a few situations at the danger room, but one really, really stood out as a heartbreaker for me, and it was Dual Kevin versus Chris G, and that's actually why I picked these two teams. Take a look at what happened. He snipes him. Now, can Kevin do this? He has five meters and heart. Wah, wah, wah. But that heart. Here are two options that Kevin had at his disposal if he had done OS dash. As you see from option one, he was blocking the missiles, so he still had pressure on him, but at least he didn't die. And the option two put him full screen and he would have been away and he could have made that comeback. That could have been one hit into a level three and then chipped out Doom for the, for the life lead. And it really sucks that he didn't have this at his disposal. There's some exceptions to this rule, and one of them is Doom. Doom can't OS back dash, but he still can do OS forward dash. And then you look at a character like Virgil, who kind of ignores this rule too, where he can do it, but he doesn't have to plink the H and the M. He can just hit them both at the same time, like a normal dash, while holding forward. Take what you've learned from this video and go and be creative. That's the point of Marvel 3, that's what makes this game so great. You'll see with Magneto, I OS a ground dash into an OS air dash as well, and I get two throw attempts, a ground grab and an air grab, just in case they jump. Then I fly or mag blast to keep myself safer and put myself in a better position. With Viper, I did the same thing. I OS the ground grab into an OS air grab, and then another normal air grab, and if all that failed, I get an H, which is a really fast button, into a burn kick thing to keep me safe. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, I really, really appreciate it. If there's anything you need to know about any tech or any, any weird options you see in any videos, just hit me up on my Twitter or post it in the comments anywhere. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I want to make other videos about this kind of thing. Marvel's on its last year and I really want to let all the tech out and let everyone know so we can get the best for Evo this year. Thanks for watching. You guys are the best. Yeah!